Yep, yeah, there you go. That's it, bro. Oh my god, we got it. We got it. We got it down. We definitely got it. Oh, we got it. We for sure got it. Oh, we won. Oh, no, chat. We. Oh, no, 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 no. We did not just do this to the game. No, we did not, guys. Guys, we did not just do this. No. Oh, my God. I can't wait for GMs. I can't wait for GMs. Oh, my God. Please don't nerf the grenades. Please don't nerf the grenades. Oh, my God. Where is this? Let's go. Let's go. I'll go show the charge something then. Oh my. There you go. Here's a grenade. Oh, please don't kill me. Alrighty. Here's another grenade. So the one thing I got to mention before getting into this video is that if you guys decide to do this today on the release date of this video is going to be way more broken. I repeat. If you're watching this video on its release date and you can go to the master nightfall and do this activity today, it's going to be way more broken. Let me go ahead and explain real quick why. If you guys notice right here on the master nightfall, just specifically for today, I don't know when the rotation will come back around, but specifically for today, we have lightning crystals arc and stasis abilities recharge faster but you receive more damage from both elements the footage that you're currently watching on the screen right now was actually recorded before this perk came out to the nightfall and as you can see it's already pretty strong i don't want to say broken because the second you say broken in this game bungie likes to nerf right away but it is pretty pretty crazy i started doing this nightfall with the guys without using this build and we were kind of struggling a little bit because we are the same level of the nightfall at least i am i'm 16 i'm 1600 currently my teammate is 16 uh i mean 1597 and the other guys like 1598 and to be honest we started doing this uh, master nightfall to farm for send the charge started to do this nightfall to farm some exotics but we were kind of lacking we were kind of slow we were getting beat up but the second that i came i swear i came up with this build right on stream in front of everybody and the second that we put it together and i got the guys on it we were just literally continuously spamming grenades and the thunder storm grenades on the titan are so insanely good right now that this is a must and like i just mentioned earlier in the video if you're watching this as of the video being released the perk on the master nightfall allows you to even recharge your energy even way faster so all i'm going to do right now is show you guys how to make this build and get you guys going on the grind and again for the people wondering why would you want to grind there's ascended shards there's exotics you can get them to roll in high stats you can get them to roll the way you want those exotics to roll so it's a good way to farm i normally recommend people to farm on double nightfall loot but as of right now there's no double nightfall there is double vanguard xp so in a way you kind of get extra stuff out of it and they're pretty easy to do again just spam grenades spam grenades pick up wells spam grenades spam grenades pick up wells you don't have to be on a titan to do this because again you're chaining with your teammates uh the hunter's gonna use his grenade and it works my other titan is using his grenade and it's gonna work i'm using my grenade so as long as you guys have all similar builds you guys are gonna continuously chain and if you want to even increase the the grenade recharge rate which again i don't i don't think you will need it at all because this was more than easy enough the way we were doing it but you can put on demolitionist weapons and again like i mentioned earlier if you do this as the release of the video it's going to be way more broken i haven't even done it yet today because i noticed the perk that says that you're going to recharge even faster your arc abilities so this this nightfall is going to be insane all right so getting to the actual build the first thing i want to mention is that it doesn't matter what character you are this can be done on the hunter this can be done on the warlock this can be done on the titan but i believe on the titan is best due to the fact that he has this aspect touch of thunder allowing for storm grenades to do a little more and it says after detonating it creates a roaming thunder cloud that tracks nearby targets and fire bolts of lightning at falls beneath it so the other storm grenades are not going to be doing that so that's why i kind of say it's a little bit better on the titan but it can still be done on all the other characters and all you really need is your arc grenades to jolt targets and you want your grenades to linger a little longer you might not need this to linger a little longer but the longer they linger the more damage they're doing and that's kind of what the whole build is about 
Also, I'm rocking on the Titan while you're critically wounded. You recharge your abilities faster. Since I am playing a Master Nightfall, all the enemies are extremely aggressive. So I do have that on. So you guys can also put that on for the other characters. And finally, taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage. Since I, since I am a Titan, I am always punching things. I always in front of enemies. I'm always getting stomped. So this always comes in very handy. Uh, and again, of course, Storm Grenades. That's all it really matters for this build regarding the subclass. So this should be very similar for all the three characters. It should be very similar for the warlock for the hunter for the titan storm grenades and a very similar build across the board you don't probably need this one for the warlock or for the maybe for the arc hunter because the arc hunter is also punching people nowadays so getting into the other useful things about this build would be the mods i know some of you guys might not have all the mods so i'll explain what other useful mods you can replace them with but starting off with the class item the main important thing you need is well you don't i mean it's very extremely helpful and it's the one right here on your artifact. It's cost seven energy and it says lightning strikes twice. And this allows you to recharge your grenade energy faster once you throw them. And if you get a defeat, it allows it to continue happening. So I have that on on my class item and I also have an elemental ordinance. Yes, I don't have any other mods here because of how expensive it is. But elemental ordinance is really nice to have as well. Uh, what it's going to do is when you get grenade defeats or yeah, grenade defeats is going to make an, uh, a well that matches your arc subclass. Uh, since I'm on arc, it's going to make an arc well. Moving on to the boots. What we got on the boots is again another elemental ordinance. And this is going to make it so you get two wells out of a grenade um, or a grenade defeat. And then again, here's I pick up like I love to have this on is whenever I pick up orbs, I get grenade energy. So it also helps me recharge my grenade energy. Moving on to the exotic, you guys already know, Hardy Moon Slight empowers my abilities, help me recharge them quickly. Uh, not needed for all the characters. You still could do this with like Armamentarium. You could still do this with any other chest piece. You could even, yeah, you could do this with a lot of builds. You don't have to have Hardy Moon Slight, but the, it definitely helps to have Hardy Moon Slight. Also, another elemental ordinance. So that's now three elemental ordinance that I got set up. Moving on to my arms, I have a melee well maker. Again, these mods don't really matter. You can move them accordingly depending on what you need, but the ones that I'm showing you are the most important to be able to get the most out of your Titan. We have three elemental ordinances, and now we have a melee well maker. The melee well maker is there because we do punch a lot with knockout, we do punch a lot with shoulder charge. So, also making wells from my uh, shoulder charge is very, very handy. It allows me to get back my shoulder charge. It allows me to get back my grenades. So definitely very useful. And finally, the one that a lot of you guys might not have, even though it was recently sold by Ada, is Bountiful Wells. It's one of the mods that I actually bought myself recently because I did not have. And this is what allows, uh, what allows it to do is to stack up your other mods. Normally, if you have Elemental Ordinance, Elemental Ordinance, Elemental Ordinance, Elemental Ordinance, Elemental Ordinance, they don't do nothing. They just do one. You throw one grenade, you're going to get one Elemental Well. But if you have Bountiful Well, it's going to allow you to just stack all these together and even get an extra one. So now, since I have three Elemental Ordinances, when I get a defeat kill, I get the three plus one more. So I make four arc wells from having three elemental ordinances. Same thing with my melee well maker. I have one melee well maker on, but when I do a shoulder charge, since I have bountiful well, it's going to give me two wells. So when I have abilities up, I can instantly make five well. Well, I can make seven. You can make six wells. You can make four right here and two right here. So a total of th uh, six wells that I can make instantly and again i recharge my abilities and all those are going to give me back my abilities so really really good setup for the titan again very similar for the hunter maybe and even probably very similar for the warlock because you do want to use your melee well maker I do want to have at least three elemental ordinances and finally the bountiful well if you don't have bountiful well i mean if for the people that don't you know some try to help you out what you would want to do is probably still have at least one elemental ordinance one melee well maker right you want to throw in one melee well maker uh you want to throw in at least uh elemental armaments right and i'll kind of explain them really quickly uh you want to throw in maybe what can we do you could throw in font of might for more damage in your weapons and if you had an arc helmet or you could flip it around where you could do grenade uh you can do grenade ordinance up here and then we'll switch this to a class we'll do an arc one right we'll do where's my arc one i should have an arc one somewhere there's my arc one and then we'll switch the arc one to 
a uh, elemental a well of ions and that's what's gonna allow it to do is gonna give you 30 percent melee damage to your melee once you pick up arc wells so now when you throw a melee you're gonna get an arc well when you use your arc weapons you're gonna get an arc well when you throw your grenades you're gonna get an arc well and then when you use uh when you pick up those arc wells your arc weapons are gonna get a 25 percent buff so this is a really good build if you don't have bountiful well and you can't stock those mods other than that i hope you guys did enjoy really take advantage of this master nightfall and i'll catch you guys later peace